our amazing continents. Hooray for Antarctica. Our amazing continents. Continents are the largest piece of land on earth. There are seven continents. The largest is Asia. The other continents from largest to smallest are Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Each continent's landscape has shaped the lives of its animals, plants, and people. Hooray for Antarctica. Hooray for penguins. Hooray for ice. Hooray for Antarctica, the wildest place on earth. Antarctica and its waters are home to seabirds, seals, and whales. Antarctica is a continent located at Earth's south pole. Imagine a pole through the center of the Earth. The Earth spins like a top around this pole. The bottom of this imaginary pole is called the South Pole. That is where Antarctica is. Antarctica is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. The continent closest to Antarctica is South America, about 600 miles away. Antarctica is cold. Antarctica is the coldest continent. Its air temperature rarely rises above freezing. In winter, the temperature averages negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Sweat can freeze on a person's body. Icicles form on men's mustaches. In winter, human skin that's not covered can get frostbite in only a few seconds. People in Antarctica have to wear heavy coats most of the year, but seals stay warm because of their layers of fat called blubber. Its land is very high. Antarctica is Earth's highest continent. Most of the land is high above the sea. Almost all the land is covered by a layer of ice about a mile and a half thick. This layer of ice makes Antarctica's surface even higher. Like all continents, Antarctica is made of land with features such as mountains and valleys. Sometimes just the tip of a mountain will show above the ice line. Antarctica has one of the world's deepest lakes, Lake Vostok. It is hidden under two and a half miles of ice. Strangely enough, Antarctica also has volcanoes. Mount Erebus, a volcano erupted in 1998. Antarctica is icy. Ice forms in the middle of the continent. The ice slowly slides from the continent's center to the sea. When it reaches the coast, the edges break off, forming icebergs. Icebergs can be huge, bigger than large buildings. In places, the ice doesn't break off. It stretches into the ocean. It is called an ice shelf. The Ross Ice Shelf and the Rhone Ice Shelf are the biggest ice shelves. They are each about the size of Texas. It is windy and dry. Winds can blow for weeks in Antarctica. Antarctica winds can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Scientists often have to tie down equipment to make sure it doesn't blow away. Most of Antarctica is dry enough to be called a desert, a polar desert. It does not receive much snow, but the snow that does fall stays. The weather is not usually warm enough for it to melt. This snow builds up over thousands of years. The weight of the snow on top turns the snow below into ice. Antarctica sometimes has strange, colorful skies. In Antarctica, you may see colorful shapes of light called fog bows, sun dogs, and mock moons. They are created when sunlight hits tiny ice crystals in the air. Splashes of color also light up Antarctica's dark winter skies. These winter colors are called the Aurora Australis, or the Southern Lights. These lights are similar to the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, which are seen near the North Pole. Antarctica has very few plants. Cold, dry, windy, and dark for months, 
Antarctica does not have good growing conditions, but algae, a kind of tiny plant, grow in Antarctica snow. The algae looks like red, green, or yellow stains. More plants grow near the coast where the weather is warm and the land is bare. Moss and lichens cover ice-free dirt and rocks. Antarctica has only two kinds of flowering plants, Antarctic hair grass and an Antarctic pearl wart. Antarctica has very few land animals, but many animals live in the surrounding ocean. Antarctica's biggest land animal is a tiny insect called a midge. The only other land animal are people and the animals people have brought. The Southern Ocean, however, is full of life. Tiny plants float in the sunlit water. Small ocean animals eat the floating plants. Bigger animals eat them in turn. Pink shrimp-like animal called krill are food for fish, seabirds, seals, and some whales. Penguins and seals live in Antarctica. Penguins don't fly. They flap their paddle-like wings to swim. Seven kinds of penguins live on and around Antarctica. Gentoo, Emperor, King, Adelaide, Chinstrap, Rockhopper, and Macaroni. <laughs> macaroni? Penguins are seabirds. They raise their chicks on land, but they spend most of their time swimming in the sea. Penguins eat krill, squid, and fish. Six kinds of seals live in Antarctica. Antarctica fur seals, crab eater seals, Weddell seals, leopard seals, southern elephant seals, and Ross seals. Seals dive deep to search for food, but come to shore to rest. Seals eat fish and krill. Seals in turn are hunted by orca whales, who also eat some types of penguins. Polar bears do not live in Antarctica. Antarctica is different from the Arctic. Antarctica and the Arctic are both windy, icy, cold places, but they are different in many important ways. Antarctica is at the Southern Pole. The Arctic is at the North Pole. Antarctica is a continent. The Arctic is not. Antarctica is land. The Arctic is a region with mostly ocean. Much of that ocean is covered by ice. Antarctica is land. The Arctic is a region that, with mostly ocean. Much of that ocean is covered by ice. Antarctica has penguins, but no polar bears. The Arctic has polar bears, but no penguins. Not many people live in the Antarctic. It is the least populated continent of all. Life is hard in Antarctica because it is so icy, windy, and cold. Most of the people who live there are scientists or people who help the scientists. Tourists visit in January, which is summer in Antarctica. In summer, the night is very short. It is bright almost all day long. Boats called Zodiacs take tourists from their ships to the shore. Tourists and guides usually wear bright red jackets so they can be easily seen if they lose their way. Not many people stay in Antarctic during winter. In the winter, which is from May to July, the sky is dark almost all day long. Antarctica is a special wild place. Antarctica is not owned by any one country. The continent of Antarctica is protected by the world. At first, several countries tried to claim it, but then many countries decided that Antarctica should belong to all Earth's people, so they worked out rules to share it. These rules, called the Antarctic Treaty, help protect the Antarctic environment, the waters, the land, and the animals. Hooray for Antarctica, our amazing continents.